Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to solve the 5 problem of this month on lead code. Before starting, if you guys haven't subscribed my YouTube channel yet, then please go ahead and subscribe it. Now, without any delay, let's get started with today's problem. So today I am going to solve problem number 2058. Find the minimum and maximum number of nodes between critical points. Okay. So a critical point in a linked list is defined as either a local maxima or a local minima. Okay. A node is a local maxima if the current node has a value strictly greater than the previous node and the next node okay so local for local maxima let's say this node value is 6 right so this next value for this current should be less than this 6 okay strictly less than 6 okay so 1 to 5 let's give it 5 okay and here its prep value should be between 1 to 5 only okay so here let's write 4 okay so see this node is a local maxima now because if the current node has a value strictly greater than the previous node yes and the next node okay so this is nothing but my local maxima and a node is a local minima if the current node has a value strictly smaller than the previous node and the next node okay so let's say this node value is 1 then the node dot next value should be greater than this one and here also it should be greater than this one okay so let's write it 3 here okay so see here this node is a local minima local minima if the current node has a value strictly smaller than the previous node and the next node okay so this is nothing but my local minima okay note that a node can only be a local maxima minima if there exists both a previous node and a next node okay so for local minima or local maxima we need both previous node and current node uh, and next node okay in that case only it is possible okay if there exists both a previous node and the next node okay so we have given a link list head and we have to return an array of length 2 containing minimum distance and the maximum distance between the critical points okay where mean distance is the minimum distance between any two distinct critical points and max distance is the maximum distance between any two distinct critical points okay if there are fewer than any two critical points then we have to return minus one okay so problem statement is very easy now see this example so here see we for finding the critical point we need both priv and next node na? we both need priv and the next to our current okay in that case only we can find local maxima or local minima see here uh, total length is two only so in this case there are no critical points right so that is why we are returning simply minus one minus one here okay so if there are fewer than two critical points then we have to simply return minus one minus one okay in there in this case there is no critical point okay there are no critical points right so now let's move to the example number two here okay so now see let's check for this three is this three local maxima local minima or nothing so this five is greater than three right and here this one is smaller than this three okay so it is not a local maxima or a local minima okay so now let's remove this okay so now let's move to this one see this one so this one is smaller than this three and this one is also smaller than two okay so that is why this is nothing but my local minima okay local minima okay now check this two this two is greater than one but here, here two is smaller than five okay so we don't need to check let's check this five this five is greater than two and this five is also greater than one so this is nothing but my local maxim local maxima okay so now let's see this one let's see this one so this one is smaller than this five and this one is also smaller than this two so this is nothing but my local minima okay so i hope that this is clear so we have found two local minimas and one local maxima okay so see here in this example so these are the nodes right one two three four five six seven right so see here the third node is a local minima because one is less than three and two right the fifth node is a local maxima because five is greater than two and one right and the sixth node is a local minima because one is less than five and two okay so here we have found uh, what critical points we have found the critical points like this three uh, five and six okay so here uh, we have to return answer like this now mean distance and max distance now critical points are greater than two okay are two or greater than two right if there are fewer than two critical points then we have to return this now now we have three critical points okay so mean distance we need mean distance and we need max distance okay so see max distance is simple last value and the first value okay six minus three 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 is going to be my max distance okay because we are finding the critical points in this order now so starting to end and these are the indexes one two three four five six seven more okay so we will get the max distance only between the last and the first now that's it and minimum distance how we are going to find the minimum distance right 
how we are going to find the minimum distance so for minimum distance we have to check the difference between all oh, three and five then five and six okay this in this way we are going to find the difference so here see which difference between six and five is one difference between five and three is two so what is minimum this is minimum so we have to write the minimum okay so max distance is very simple last node and first node that's it and for minimum distance we need to find the difference between all the nodes okay all the critical points one by one okay so this is how we are going to solve this problem okay see here first i am going to create one result array of size 2 okay so in this i have to add the result right in my result array so my i am going to first create one result array of size 2 then after that i am going to create one list in which i am going to add the critical points okay what are the critical points that i found and initially i am going to start my iphone 1 okay so i is one is nothing but my position counter okay it is just going to count the position okay so initially my priv is going to point to null okay so this is null now so here my priv is going to point to this null and my current is pointing to this head and my next is pointing to head of next okay this is the first case so here after that i am going to run one while loop and in the while loop i am going to check next is not equal to null and then next dot next is not equal to null okay so here both are not equal to null so what i am going to do i am going to update my priv to current okay so now my priv is going to point to the current so my priv goes here and my current is going to move forward so current is going to reach at this position and my next is going to point to this next position okay next is going to point to this position next okay now i have to increment the value of i okay i have to increment the value of i okay so now my i will become 2 okay so see here current dot value current dot value uh, this uh, is 3 and i have to check if 3 is greater than 5 okay 3 is greater than 5 and this 3 is greater than 1 okay so this is false right this is false 3 okay this condition is false this is what i need to check or for critical ones i have to check like this now three should be greater than five or three should be greater than one or i have to check like this three should be less than five and three should be less than one okay so both of the, these conditions are false right both of these conditions are false right so i have don't have to do anything here okay so now i'm going to move further okay so now my next is going to point to the next position okay so next is going to move to this position and my current is going to point to this position and this will become my brief okay this will become my brief that's it now again i have to check few more things so here i have to check okay let me remove it so now i have to check uh, this one is less than three and one is less than two this thing i check and one is greater than three and one is greater than two this is what i need to check so this condition is true now this condition is true this is or operation for critical points i am writing the or operations so this condition is true that simply means that this is one critical point okay so i am going to add in critical okay in critical values i am going to add my i value okay so now when i have changed this value now last, last time my i will become 3 right i is incrementing now i is 1 here i is 2 here i is going to be 3 here i is going to be 4 here i is going to 5 here i is going to 6 here i is going to 7 here okay so now my i okay so here i have to add one critical point so, okay so i have added this 3 let's say then after that again my next node current node and prim node are going to move to the next next position okay so now this will become my next node this will become my current node this will become my priv node and here after assigning my next current and priv i have to increment my i to 4 okay and in 4 index you see my current is there right so now i have to check for this 2 so 2 is less than 1 or 2 is less than 5 this condition should be satisfied so this is false right 2 is greater than 1 and 2 is greater than 5 okay so this is also false so this is not critical point okay so this is not a critical point so now let's move further okay so now after that this is going to become my brief this is going to become my current this is going to become my next right and my i will be changed to 5 now because my current is at 5 okay this is done now again i have to check for these things okay so here uh, my 5 5 is current now. 5 should be less than 2 and 5 should be less than 1 so this condition is false now i don't need to do anything here 5 is greater than 2 and 5 is greater than 1 oh yes this is one critical point okay so now i have to add this into my critical points list so i have added this 5 okay that's it now after that again i am going to move further so let me remove it so now this will become my priv this will become my current and okay and this will become my next okay this one check for this one so let's remove it Uh, this one it should be smaller than five and one should be less smaller than two okay so this condition is satisfied now so i have got one more critical point okay last time i have updated this six updated to six now 
when I move this BC and right. So here I have added six. Okay, this is done. Then after that, uh, I don't, I can't do anything, right? Because I need three nodes, okay, like this, to find the local maximum, local minimum on the current node. Okay, view and next. So now max distance is simple. Last and first value, six minus three value. Minimum distance I have to check compare between all the nodes, okay? All nodes value five, six five. Distance is one, three five. Distance two. So I'm going to write one here. Okay, that's it. So th in this way I'm going to solve this problem. Okay. So now let's move to the coding part. So coding part is also going to be very very simple for this problem. So first let's create one result array. Size should be two right, zero and one index I need to give right. And let's create one list of integers and let's name it as critical points. Okay, this is what I need to add. Okay, and let's take i value as one initially. Okay, for the node number one. And now let's point my priv to null. Okay, same story that I have spent. Priv is going to point to null. My current is going to point to the head. And my next is going to point to the head dot next right and then after that I have to check few things like my next should not be equal to null right and and my next dot next also should not be equal to null okay this is what I need to check and now after that I have to update my brief to current my brief will become current and my current will become next okay so my current will point to next and now my next will be changed to next dot next right so i have already checked that this next dot next is not equal to null so i can point my next to next to next this is done okay and now after that since my current is moved to the next node now so i have to increment my i value okay so see here now when my current was at this position so my uh, this value is to i value when my current is at this then it was three okay so that is why i have incremented here i okay now after that we have to check for the critical points okay we have to check if the current node is a critical point okay so how i am checking like this now i have to write like this so here what i am going to do i am going to check if current if current dot value is greater than priv dot value is greater than right and and current dot value should be greater than next dot value okay this is what i need to check okay this should be true or okay so here i am getting local maxima critical point if it is true otherwise if my current dot value is less than my priv dot value and current dot value should be less than my next dot value okay <coughs> then in that case increments local minima okay this is one critical point okay that's it and inside this if this condition is satisfied i have to add that critical point in my list now so what is my uh, critical point list name critical points so here in this list critical points dot add this i okay so i am going to add the critical points okay this is done now after this here my while loop ends okay now after that if the critical points uh, size is less than 2 then we know that we have to return minus 1 minus 1 right so here i am writing if critical points dot size is less than 2 okay in that case my result of zero value is going to be minus 1 and the result of minus uh, result of one value is also going to be minus one okay and we have to simply return the result that's it okay this is done now after that uh, it is very easy to find the max distance uh, but we need to find the mean distance as well right mean distance okay so let's take two variable uh, mean distance okay and one variable has max distance okay so max distance is very simple right max distance okay so max distance is going to be critical points dot get what is the last value critical points dot size minus one minus critical points dot get zero and main distance let's uh, take this value as max value of integer first okay so here i'm going to write integer dot max underscore value okay so now 
we have to find this mean distance right max distance we already know okay so now let's iterate over all the nodes one by one 4j is equal to 1 j is less than critical points dot size right and j plus plus now let's calculate the distance between the nodes okay into distance is equal to critical points dot get j minus critical points dot get here write j minus 1 that's it okay so here i'm going to find the distance one by one so here after that i have to update my mean distance okay math dot mean between my mean distance and my distance okay that's it okay so now again i have to update my uh, this result 0 and result 1 so let me copy it so now my result of 1 result of 0 first we are storing a mean distance so here i am going to write let me copy it here we have to give a result 0 as my mean distance and result of 1 should be my max distance okay should be max distance okay this is done and in the end we have to simply return the result right so that's it so we have just written whatever i have explained in the story right now let's run the code and see if there are any coding issues so yes so we haven't initialized uh, this variable into j okay any other issues so the test case has been accepted now let's submit it so time complexity for this problem is going to be off and only as we are iterating over all the nodes one by one right so i hope that you guys are able to understand today's problem if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in comment section till then keep coding and keep practicing meet you guys in the next video thank you